The Fargo, North Dakota tornado of 1957 really defined the upcoming career of tornado expert Dr. Ted Fujita. We're going to take a look at some of his original materials from his report on that tornado. It really propelled him to becoming Mr. Tornado. After the fact, he would develop the Fujita scale, and 14 years after the fact, he would rate this an F5, the maximum on that scale of 0 to 5. But there were many things about this study that taught us things that we still use. For example, the life cycle of the tornado, how it evolves into a cone shape and then ends as a rope shape. That we learned here. Then there were some things about the tornadic thunderstorm, the rotating thunderstorm, the wall cloud, the low hanging portion of the cloud like a layer of a layer cake that hangs down and the tornado forms from. The first time that was used was this study. The tail cloud, the little tail of inflow into the edge of that wall cloud. That term was coined here. These are terms that storm chasers still use today. Here you're seeing Fujita's hand-drawn graphic of the wall cloud, that black circle, and then the tail cloud that goes spiraling into the wall cloud. The tornadoes came down near the center of that wall cloud. And this rotating thunderstorm produced a whole series of tornadoes one after another. A tornado would form, lift, the next one would form, lift. Fujita called those a family. We still use that term today. There was another famous tornado in 1957. It hit Dallas. It was more useful for determining tornado wind speed from the movie. Fujita always wished he had gotten a grant to study that one. He, in fact, studied it later in his career. But in reality, his legacy was established from the Fargo tornado of 1957.